around IT in 256 seconds by Tomasz Nurkiewicz. Episode 2. Service Mesh. Service Mesh is used in environments where there are many services talking to each other. The aim of a service mesh is to extract cross-cutting concerns like infrastructure and networking code to an independent layer. Service Mesh is commonly implemented using an HTTP proxy. Imagine you have just two services talking to each other, one named Alpha on a server A and another named Delta on a server D. Without a service mesh, when service Alpha wants to make a request to service Delta, it simply makes an HTTP request directly from server A to server D. With service mesh, the situation is much more complex. On each server, there is a special proxy called the sidecar, which is part of the service mesh. When service alpha wants to talk to service delta, rather than making a request directly to server D, it makes a request to server A to its own server, so to localhost, to a sidecar proxy. The sidecar proxy then makes a request to server D, but not to the server service delta. Instead, it makes a request to another sidecar that's deployed on server D. And the sidecar proxy on server D makes a local request to service delta over localhost. Overall, rather than having a single HTTP request from server A to server D, we have three requests. Two requests are through localhost, so between service alpha and sidecar proxy, and then between sidecar proxy and service delta, and also one remote call between one sidecar and the other. Okay, so what's the point of having this extra layer that definitely adds a lot of latency to your requests? Well, first of all, these two requests are over localhost, so the performance hit is not as big as you would imagine. On the other hand, service mesh brings you a whole lot of features. If you've ever tried microservice architecture, you soon realized that there is a lot of infrastructure code that has to go to your application. Service discovery, metrics, security, every single application within your ecosystem needs to have this custom logic built in. It gets even worse when you are truly polyglot, so you have services written in .NET, Java, Python, and whatever. All these services needs to have this custom logic and this custom logic has to be compatible with each other. This is where service mesh really shines. For example, you don't have to implement SSL or TLS in each and every service if you want to have secure communication. It's enough that sidecars can talk to each other over TLS and you can talk to your sidecar using even HTTP 1 protocol. Service Mesh can not only add security, it can even upgrade this protocol into HTTP 2 or 3 to get better performance. Also, because all traffic goes through Service Mesh, you have lots of metrics out of the box, like which services are talking to each other, what are the response times, what are the error codes, and so on and so forth. Typically, you would have to add this logic to each and every service, no matter in which language it is implemented. Moreover, most of the time you will come up with a library, so you will have a special library that you include in every service that adds these capabilities. However, when you discover a bug or there is a feature that you would like to add, you have to upgrade each and every service with a new version of this library. When this logic is encapsulated in a sidecar in a service mesh, you don't have to touch application logic at all. It becomes cleaner and smaller. Also, you don't have to implement this infrastructure logic for each and every language. It has to be implemented just once in a service mesh, and no matter the language or platform your service uses, everything goes through the same sidecar proxy. That's it about service mesh. You'll find more resources regarding service mesh under 256.nukiewicz.com slash two. Bye!